Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Motion Pretty Guys, another video. Guys, welcome back to the channel, guys. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos where I show you guys how to get as many wins as possible in Season 5. I usually do a, like, how to get your first win in Season 5 or Season 4 and stuff like that, but I forgot to do it this season. So in today's video, I decided, you know what, let's show you guys how to get more wins in Season 5 because things have changed within the game and stuff like that, and I know a lot of you guys already know that. We're coming up on Week 4 already, so if you do not have more than 10 wins this season keep watching this video you guys are going to actually end up getting a lot of wins just this week alone if you pay attention to these tips and tricks but as you guys can see we're landing retail row now again every place of landing in this game now at this point there's so many people that people will land anywhere there's so many points of interest and stuff like that so my best tip ooh, we got a chug jug baby that's really what we needed. Block ourselves off so we don't get shot from the beginning. And now we can go ahead and loot the rest of the house. Now, again, while you're looting the house, make sure you're hitting every single piece of furniture. Because in the first city, by the time you leave the first city that you loot, now in today's day and age, you're going to want to have 999 wood by the time you leave it. So with that being said, make sure you guys are actually hitting every single piece of furniture inside the houses. Now, the first thing we want to do inside this city is we want to make sure that we take it over. We want to make sure that everyone in here is dead before we actually start hitting the trees and stuff like that on the outside. So I heard gunshots over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to push this way. Make sure we have some wood. Um, we're going to push up here and try and see. Oh, crap. He's right here. Wait, what the heck? Are these guys teaming? Oh, no, this dude was chasing him. He was pickaxing this dude to death, and this dude almost died. Because all he had was a sniper. Dang, feels bad. All right, so there's two free kills like that. I know that there's already... That's pretty good. So what we want to do is we want to farm some of these trees, get as many trees on the outskirts as we can. We're using the house as cover, so that way people can't shoot us from any other place. And we're just trying to make sure that we're playing it safe, you guys. We're trying to make sure that nobody is going to get us from the inside. We're hanging around the outside of the city, which is fine to do. We're making sure that we're farming, getting mats, stuff like that. We're going to loot this house real quick. I hear more gunshots over in that de general direction. You know what? Let's get this chest in here. Just so that way we can be looted up because I do need a better AR. I have pretty good shotgun and assault rifle. Ooh, we got a big pot. Let's uh, drop the med kit. Pick up this AR. All right, this is good enough. No traps. Check for traps, of course. Ooh, and we got a purple bolt. We're going to use that for sure. Hitting more furniture, as you guys can see. I already have 300 wood, man. This is this is insane. Instead of going through the doors, I'm just going to break down walls and stuff like that. That way I can get more mats. Everything I see, every tree, every, every fence, everything like that, I'm literally breaking it down so I can get as much wood as possible. Ooh, there was a fight just right here. Oh, there he is right there. Oh crap, this dude built very quick, so he might be good. Let me uh, let me just go focus real quick, you guys. Oh, he's below me, he fell. One little word of advice, there we go, GG to that guy, is when, when you're building fighting somebody, and if they're not building up there with you, and they're not keeping up with you, and it's kind of quiet, and you don't see them coming up to the same level as you, uh, 80% of the time, they're probably down below you trying to heal up or break down the material that you built or anything like that, which is exactly what he was doing. He literally got below me through sticky grenades trying to blow it out and uh, get above me and stuff like that. So, as you can see, we won the city. I don't really hear anyone else here. I didn't hear that many shots. We got three kills. There are other people that were here at the city. They probably ended up getting some kills. That's why I'm not too worried. Uh, but if we do see someone, we have full health, full shield, so we're good to go. So I can literally focus on farming as much as I possibly can. And yes, it does get boring, but you got to be consistent with it. You got to, it's got to be just second nature to the point where when you have 999 wood, you're going to catch yourself hitting trees just because it's, it comes natural. It's just natural for you to just start farming randomly and hitting stuff like that. But with that being said, guys, uh, I'll, I'll see you guys once we get 999 wood. All right, so as you guys can see, we're about to leave Retail Row. We have about 900 wood, which is exactly right around where I want to be. Now, the reason you want to do this is because now in today's day and age with Season 5, a lot of people are actually good at this game. A lot of people know how to build. So if your building skill is not up to that level yet, at this point, you're, you're really going to die to a lot of uh, mediocre players in this game because a lot of people are getting better and better at the game. So those average players that we're used to seeing, they are now mediocre. They're actually really good compared to how they used to be. So we need to advance 
together you guys so to get better as a community means everyone else is getting better as well so the more you practice and play and get better don't don't worry because other people are doing it better if you settle for just this the certain skill level that you're at i promise you you're gonna get worse at the game you're gonna hate playing the game more and more just because everyone else is getting better and better so you're gonna end up getting destroyed and stuff like that so you want to learn how to build you want to learn how to have all the mats i have 999 wood which is exactly what i want i have a shotgun and again you don't want to rock the double pump it's not a thing no more the best thing to rock now is in my opinion for you guys watching this video is probably a pump shotgun and a drum gun now the reason i say the drum gun is because the magazine size on the drum gun is extreme we got a blue pump the magazine size on the drum gun is extremely big there he is thought i heard someone launch padding oh crap this guy might be decent see everyone's building and they know what they're doing oh this guy jumped down there we go oh my gosh Hang on, guys. Let me let me take care of this guy. All right, so as you guys can see, we're at the same level, me and this guy. Um, what I want to do is I want to get a level higher than him so I can actually look down on him. So I'm going to go up one more level once he stops shooting. And now I can look down at him just like that, guys. Quick, quick snipe. That was crazy, man. I wasn't expecting to hit that, but, you know, I'm making a video. Ooh, we got we to gotta loot his stuff. Hopefully he has, like, med kits or something like that. But, yeah, just because usually when I make videos, I'll go for crazy stuff like that just because I'm like, yo, it's for the video. Why not try it? If it hits, that's going to be insane. So I like to do stuff like that. Spice it up for you guys. I usually do it in my live streams, but sadly we're not live streaming right now. But now we're running in the storm. It's okay because we don't have to go that far. Luckily, we're not going that far. Otherwise, we would probably end up dying. By the time I get to the circle, I can pick up uh, mushrooms right here that are... You got to know what, what like where things are in the map. So... If if you guys don't know Wailing Woods, we're not Wailing Woods, uh, Dusty Divot has a lot of mushrooms laying around just because the new update. So there's a lot of mushrooms laying around this area. Knowing stuff like that is really important. Knowing where the apples spawn and stuff like that is really important. So that way you're not too stressed out about like, oh crap, I need health. Where am I going to find health? Like for me, for instance, I have 65 shield. I can actually full up on 100 shield off these mushrooms laying all over the place. And also I can farm these trees get more wood get my wood back up to like 999 and then that way by the time i get into my next fight i'll be ready to go with material because again like i said in season five build battles are everything when it comes to this game if you're not building anymore there's no point in actually playing all right the storm is going to be closing in so i can't just be running around eating any more mushrooms i gotta go pretty far just because i don't have any heals and i need heals especially with my health being this low if i get caught in the storm there's nothing i can do i don't have even though i'm e eating these mushrooms the shields don't help you in the storm so I gotta, I gotta pay attention to the circles. I gotta pay. Ooh, there's a person up here. Free kill. Oh crap! I'm choked. It. Now he knows where I am. Crap! Now the storm's gonna close. And see, sometimes knowing when what to fight to fight is very important. But I'm gonna get aggressive on this guy because he's looking behind me, and I gotta kill him quick. If I don't kill him quick, then then he's gonna end up. Crap! I'm gonna end up getting caught in the storm, which is not good. He's building really high means he knows what he's doing he's getting high ground he just got done with the fight so hopefully he's a little bit weak even though he has high ground it's okay all right he just fell all right now that i have high ground this is good i'm looking down at him he's just turtling up i think he's in there healing up yeah i can hear him popping shit we're gonna just destroy this destroy this and shoot him around a little bit Oh, we almost got him. He's so weak. Crap, see, the storm's coming now. If this guy does not have a med kit, I wasted my time trying to fight him, which is not good. But I'm, I'm hoping that he has a med kit. This is the reason that I'm challenging it. I don't want to keep running. I want to fight him, get in his face, and try and kill him as quick as I can. Let's go, baby. We got a med kit out of that. And we got a bounce pads, which is really good. I'm going to use this med kit now. We have bounce pads. I can bounce pad out of here. I don't know how far the storm is. That's why it's always very important, you guys, to check. Check always to make sure your surroundings, the time limit, when the next circle is coming, how far the storm is, and stuff like that. So I'm going to I'm gonna use the bounce pad, get as high up as I can. Use these bounce pads because they're very important. It helps you out when, when it comes to the storm and stuff like that. All right, let's go. We got, we got, a, dang, we, we got a pretty far distance to go. So we're going to just keep using these bounce pads. Here's a little technique you guys can do. Have your stairs rotated, and then just put the bounce pad on it, and you can bounce closer. Oh, there's a guy right here. You know what? We got to get closer. I think he's running to the circle. Oh, I can snipe him. Let's go, baby. Dude, that, that's crazy, man. 
hitting these shots first try when I'm recording is just the best feeling in the world because it, it makes you guys like see like oh dang I'm better than what I really am guys I'm not this good normally especially on PC um, I get dogged a lot so recording these videos for you guys on PC is a little bit harder just because tips and tricks on PC oh shit someone's here oh my gosh look how weak I am all right we're gonna get aggressive on him Oh my goodness, we hit her for 93 in the head. We gotta heal up. There's people sniping at us. We're gonna heal up real quick. Oh, I think I hear someone else coming. Oh crap, someone else is coming. Now we gotta fight again. See, this is this is what sucks, is people will get aggressive on you when they know that you're weak. So we're gonna have to kill this person with only 60 something HP or health. And this damn tree's in the way. Oh crap. She hit me. She knows what she's doing. Let's go! Oh my god, she just had to hit me one time with a shotgun and I would have been dead. Alright, so we could pop these shields. Someone was sniping at me, but I need to try to find campfire. Yes, I, I need heals. Are there any heals laying around? Got a blue drum gun. Again, this is the perfect loadout. We got a scar, blue drum gun. We got shields, this purple sniper. I'm gonna heal up real quick with this campfire. Chill out for a little bit, take some minis, and heal up before we get to the next circle. We got time just because the circle is right next to us, so we don't got to stress it. There's only five, four people left. So we can win this game, you guys, for the first ever tips and tricks on how to get more wins in Fortnite Season 5. Hopefully, we can get a victory out. Guys, I recorded two more games before this. If you do want me to upload it, even though I lost, I choked it up, let me know down in the comment section below. Even if you don't mind me winning... Hopefully I can catch a dub on this one. If not, I got to record again just because I want to bring you guys a victory royale. Ooh, I didn't even know there's apples here. See, knowing that there's apple spawns and stuff like that can really help you out. I just got to make sure I don't get sniped. All right, there's now three people left. That's good. Someone might be up there. So you know what? Switch to our brick so we're not wasting good mats. Farm this tree real quick. All right, we could just stay up here for a little bit. Relax. Try to see where people are. All right, there's a person over there. That means I'm one, that's two. There's two more people that we don't know where they are. Hopefully there's two of them over at the factories and they're fighting. I don't see anyone behind me, below me. See, you're always wanting to check. You never want to sit still. You never want to relax, um, especially in the top 10 situation. You always want to be moving. Oh, I thought I was going to hit that. I've been hitting all my snipes today. I was like, you know what? Maybe I can hit this one. Let's rush this guy, though. Oh, he sees this. He oh, crap. All right, there's only two more people left. This guy's one, me, and then one other person. Crap. See, he, he knows what he's doing, it looks like. I need more wood, so let me farm this tree a little bit. What? He hit me? I put up my wall. How did he hit? It's all right. He only hit me for like eight damage. All right. I don't know where the other people are. I'm just going to heal up real quick. Just so that way, just to play it safe because I don't have 100 health. Put this behind me so I don't get sniped from behind. Actually, you know what? Let me uh, double support it so no one shoots me from behind. If they're on that mountain, I'm screwed. So let me let me break this down. Put up a wall there. That way I can focus on this guy and not worry about anyone else. He's getting very aggressive. So you know what? I'm going to push up another level. Yeah, he's staying right there. So I'm going to push up one more level, you guys, just because this guy, he, he's getting really aggressive. So let's go up one more level right now. I don't see anyone else. Crap, he's going up. He's getting aggressive. Usually what I like to do is put these down to distract him, make him think that I'm pushing up so he shoots out my base, um, and then see what he does. So right here, someone else is shooting at us too. It's not just this guy. There's another person shooting at us. The last person. Me and this guy and the last person shooting RPGs at us. Oh my gosh, get destroyed. I got to get out of here. He's about to shoot down our base. Crap. All right, so the last person's over here. Literally, this is all I gotta focus on is this last person. He has RPG, so I gotta, I just gotta be careful. All right, I'm gonna push up. Now it's gonna be a build fight, because you guys can see, oh crap, he trapped me. A lot of these last fights are build fights. So that's why you guys gotta learn how to build. I can show you guys tips and tricks. Oh my goodness, I don't think this guy knows what he's doing. Let's go! 11 kill victory royale for you guys. 
on this episode, guys. Again, if you do want... <laughs> Even if they're not Victor Royales, let me know down in the comment section below if you want to see it. Again, I do play a lot. Sometimes I won't win, so I just delete that video and try not to make it for you guys. So I try to re-record. So sometimes I do mix up on my words because I feel like I'm repeating myself because I'm saying it over and over again in other videos. But guys, thank you so much for all the love, all the support. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.